Peter asked me to talk a little bit about what I've seen in the community and, and how these taxes and the spending is affecting us. And I think the ultimate example, something if you listen to my show, I go back to a lot, is Brown Cigar Store, who supplied the cigar, some good advertisement. Uh, they actually have been in business 120 years this year, and they have seen two world wars, one depression, and the government currently is doing everything it possibly can to put them out of business. And that's, it's, it's sickening. Uh, they actually, I had to write this down because I didn't believe it. They've seen on some products 2,500% tax increase on Roll Your Own Tobacco. Yeah, I couldn't believe it myself. 900% in licensing this year. 900% it went up. Uh, and you, we've seen it with the natural gas leases where people are going to Pennsylvania. The Fortuna and all these companies are going to Pennsylvania. Ronald Reagan once said, He once said, government is not the solution to our problems, government is the problem. <laughs> and we are here today to tell our representatives that that statement made over 28 years ago rings true today, as, as strongly as ever. So I just want to finish up and say, God bless you, God bless the Southern Tier, and God bless the United States. How you doing, folks? You feeling stimulated? Well, for a trillion dollars, you should be stimulated. Somebody's got to be stimulated for a trillion dollars. I mean, I know a dollar's not worth what it used to be, but a trillion dollars should buy you something. Well, let me tell you who should be stimulated. If you like sending a dollar, to Albany and Washington and getting back 20 cents, then you should be stimulated. Right, yeah. Or if you've got one of them 250,000 new government jobs that Barack Obama's creating for people in Washington, then you might be stimulated too. Or, not wait, no, they're working hard. <laughs> And if you are a community organizer, they work hard too. Those fellows from ACORN were working hard last year, committing vote fraud in state after state around the country. And the Democrats in Washington and Barack Obama, they like their work so much that they gave them $4 billion of your money in the stimulus bill to keep up the work. And next year, they're going to be doing your census. <coughs> they, huh? Look, you might feel stimulated if you agree with Eric Holder and the ambassador from Mexico that the drug cartels and the decline of the Mexican government is your fault if you own a gun in observance of your Second Amendment rights. Oh, yeah. And you might be stimulated as a New Yorker if you call in for your welfare check. You don't even have to get off the couch these days. You don't have to miss an episode of Oprah. You, but you are not stimulated if you are looking for work in upstate New York. Because we have the highest taxes, the highest workman's comp, the most regulations, and the most anti-business government of any of the 50 states. And I get a little bit tired when the New York City politicians come to upstate New York, to the southern tier, to Rochester or Buffalo, cities which have decreased by a third of their population. And all of upstate New York has declined by two million people and over 300,000 jobs. And then the New York City boys come up here like they're on safari, seeing how the natives live. All they need is a pith helmet and binoculars. They come right out of a movie and let's see how we all live in upstate New York so they can go back to New York City and say, I went to the hinterland. I saw how those people live. I'll be stimulated when the United States Congress stops spending a trillion dollars of our money and our children's money and our grandchildren's money to pay, to pay for welfare. They're calling it the biggest tax cut in the history of America. You read the fine print and when you get a check for the government, 
as a refundable tax credit when you haven't paid any taxes to begin with? That's what we used to call welfare. Land of entitlement. I will be stimulated when America elects a president that does not bow down when he meets the king of Saudi Arabia. stimulated when the United States Congress and Nancy Pelosi and Barack Obama don't want to tell my doctor what health care I can receive. As Pete mentioned, there are over 800 rallies just like this one going on today all across America. This is historic. It has never happened before in my lifetime and you would have to go back to the American Revolution to see this many working people show up for protests. I remember I was a McCain delegate last year, and I remember people asked me, how is it that 20,000 people show up for Barack Obama rallies and only 1,000 people for John McCain rallies? And they said, all the people for John McCain are working. Yeah. Today is not the ending or culmination. Today is a beginning. We have a new Republican leader in the New York State Assembly named Brian Cole. He was first elected in 2000 in a special election, and in the last 10 days of that campaign, Sheldon Silver and the New York City Democrats put $300,000 into his opponent's race in what was a solid Republican district. Brian Cole won that race by seven votes because every vote counts. So when you go out and you say, well, now what are we going to do? We had ourselves a nice rally. Here's what we're going to do. If you are not registered to vote, you go over to the table and get a registration form and register. I don't care if you register as a Republican or a Democrat or an Independent or a blank, but you need to register to vote because if you don't register, you are giving your vote to the people that want to nationalize your health care, who want to tax the next three generations to pay for their welfare policies, the people that want to give in to every tin pot dictator in the world and bow down to them and not stand up for American interests overseas. So register to vote. The second thing you need to do is when there is an election, I don't care if it's a special election, I don't care if it's a national election, I don't care if it's for the county corridor. You go out and you exercise your right as an American citizen and you vote for the candidate of your choice. The third thing, the, the third thing you need to do is let your views be known. Yeah. Gentleman just said you got to go to Washington and let your views be known. It's called a telephone. It's called the internet with emails. It's called going to town hall meetings and saying why are you mortgaging our grandchildren's future? Why in the name of a stimulus program are you giving billions of dollars to community organizers? Just two days ago, the Democrats that just took control of the New York State Senate announced that they are creating community outreach offices all across New York State. Guess who goes to work in a community outreach office run by the Democrats in the State Senate out of New York City? They're doing ACORN-type organizers, Democratic political operatives. They are paying for a never-ending campaign with your tax dollars. <laughs> I know you how you feel about these things. You gotta let them know how you, how you feel about these things. So pick up the phone, send an email, show up in their offices, let your views be known. Every vote counts, folks, and every one of you, if you get involved in the political process and do the right thing, this country can be a different place come 2010. Thank you very much, you've been a great crowd.